those last couple of minutes in that game, you had a lead in a couple of those turnovers. What happened and what was just the biggest difference maker in those last few minutes? Um, I, I mean, to me, on the court, I felt like we got sped up a little bit offensively. Took some tough shots, and then tough shots kind of turned into fast break opportunities for them. They put a lot of pressure on the rim. Um, you know, had some pretty, like, timely second chance opportunities as well, you know, where defense was pretty good, but gave up offensive rebound. And then in that fourth quarter for you, the, th the threes started falling. What opened up in those early minutes in that fourth quarter? Uh, ball was just moving, you know, a lot of paint touches. Um, you know, I think that group, that second unit, not a ton of, um, you know, direct one-on-one -on -one type players where ball is, is really moving. You know, we're trying to put Spencer in spots where he can get downhill, um, get paint touches. Um, but then the rest of us really just, you know, a lot of movement, um, a lot of ball movement as well. And, you know, the shots are a result of that. Felt like a couple months ago there was like a calmness down the stretch where, you know, tight games, the team could pull it out. Do you feel like you guys still have that confidence or calmness down the stretch? Or are you still working to figure out, figure that out? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that just comes with the uh, experience. Having games like this, you learn from it and try to get better. And Joe, I know you won the victory, but in tonight, it was a big night for you. You got your 1,000th you know, career three-pointer. The majority of that has come as a Brooklyn. What is just a moment like that to reach a milestone like that mean to you? Uh, to be honest, I didn't know that and haven't thought much about it until you just said it. But, um, I mean, I've been here a long time, and I shoot a lot of threes. So. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, yeah. when you have um, you know, a losing streak like this at an inopportune part of the season like this, what is morale like in the room now, and who are kind of the voices that you guys hear? I mean, it's definitely frustrating, but I think collectively across the board, you know, we are obviously aware of, you know, where we sit in the standings and the importance of every game here down the stretch. Um, and, you know, JV uh, has, has been great where, you know, this is a tough loss for us, and I, I felt like we, we really should have won this game. Um, we were in control for of the game for a majority of the 48 minutes. Um, you have a tough loss, so everybody's feeling that, but at the same time, you know, we have a, a big game coming up against Miami and in Orlando, so the focus is now shifted to that, and that's what, you know, tomorrow will be in terms of preparation, and then, you know, you hopefully go on the road and, and take advantage of, of two good opportunities. You know, and following up on that, I mean, when you have when you have now fallen behind the Heat, what kind of importance does that bring to a game in Miami when you're now sitting right now in the play? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a big game. Obviously, there's you know implications both sides, um, but the remaining nine games are big. So obviously, in this game against Miami, there is you know emphasis, but there's going to be an emphasis on every single opponent that we face from here on out. Jock's been telling us that he's been trying to keep the focus on today as opposed to looking further down the road. Yep. How difficult is that, or is that difficult at all when the stakes are at this no, point? No, I mean, that's what, he's, that's, that's what he, he, he talks about even directly after tonight. You know, like I said, it was, it was a tough loss for us, but he's trying to redirect the focus, um, get it on preparing for Miami, and then, you know, once you play against Miami, you prepare for Orlando and so on and so forth.